it's no coincidence that we're right on the pink path. Uh, we still get people coming in and saying, oh, well, that's convenient. Was, was that already here when you came in? You know, and, and um, yeah, we're, we're, it, it was definitely on purpose. So the, the opening of the pink path helped to inspire us to open the shop. Um, but not just that. For me to open an electric bike shop, this being my third one, um, there's certain things that I, I would not compromise on. And one is to have proper safe test riding right next to the shop. Now, obviously, that's a business decision because if the test riding is good, I'm going to sell more bikes. But it's also a demonstration of how we do things. We want people to end up on the right bike for them. And to do that, you, you need to be able to try it properly. So in an environment where you're comfortable, that try all the features, and also connect it up to uh, some hill climbing that you can do, some longer rides, so that it's all here that you can make an informed decision. Um, it, it, it would just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, feel right for me to meet someone who wants to choose an electric bike, show them some bikes, and then the next step that they need to do is something that I can't provide, which is to try properly try it out. We have some people who come from other shops with an electric bike that they're test riding from there and they've somehow got it here so that they can go test ride it. So that, that sort of thing, you know, we, we wouldn't do that. We're going to be right on um, some good test riding and we're on probably the world's best test riding, a <laughs> four metre wide, um, kilometre long sort of runway of a bike path that um, is, is perfect for anyone who, well, anybody wants to have some fun, but particularly for anybody who's maybe not feeling 100% confident about jumping on a bike or an electric bike and trying them all out and doing all that sort of thing. It's perfect for that, but it's also linked up to more challenging runs with lots of hills and, um, and different things to navigate. So I, I really can't imagine where there could be better test riding than, than right here. So yeah, no coincidence that, that we're here. Our branding sort of reflects the, um, the, the cycle path there. The, the pink path is it's not just a cycle lane. It's, um, it's a symbol for Auckland of wanting to make change towards a city that is actually interested in people and not, not just cars and highways and things. So people identify that with vision, progress um, and optimism where someone had a great idea to make it and, and it happened and they went all out. It's something people are proud of. You see people taking their wedding photos there. Um, there's fashion shoots happening there. People party there. It's, it's something that people are really proud of. It's won international architecture awards. You know, you can see it from space and all, all that sort of thing. Like um, people love it and what it symbolizes and you hear people saying, wow, what if we had these pink paths all over the city? You know, which is just a separated cycle lane, but Separated cycle lane hasn't really resonated with the common folk for a phrase. Um, so they sort of say, oh, what if you had that? And by that they mean a high standard, somewhere where you can ride a bike or walk um, and, and there aren't any cars, no driveways, no intersections, no one parking over it, none of that. Just a proper actual place for people.